right? Brotherly love overrides oppression and destruction, right? B-L-O-O-D. That's what y'all stand for. But as soon as y'all became the majority, what did y'all start to do? Y'all started to, to, to oppress. So the oppressors, the oppressed became the oppressors. Go to jail, get done dirty, stabbed up, raped, all kind of stuff. And you like, how that happened to him? Biggest dudes, the smallest ones, the gangsters, you never know, man. It's just fortune and what Allah Tabaraka Ta'ala has written for you. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to stab him in the eye. So he's holding. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. Tala wa barakatuh. Tala wa YouTubers and viewers. Welcome back to a new video on Rip Right HD. So y'all already know what it is. Um... Right now I'm in Cali, so that's why y'all don't see that uh, double R HD sign behind me. But um, I gotta actually put out this content because um, I'm doing um, these videos once a week drop. So I did two videos last week because I missed the week before because I was actually in Miami and Fort Lauderdale and things like that. Okay, guys. Also, text the number 718-865-2873 to get the notifications for the workouts, where we're going to be, what times... And things like that. Stay up to date with what's going on with the Rip Ride community. Okay. All right. So where we left off at, um, KB and them, Law Library meetups, they were trying to iron it out because people wasn't feeling the way they snuffed and jumped on homicide. Now, the thing was, they claimed that homicide was committing homosexual acts with a police officer. Now, me personally, I don't know what was going on. I didn't care. As I said, I just wanted some get back. Um, so I'm not going to put that on him. I didn't see the penetration without hesitation. It was just all speculation. You know, you know, one and one equals two. That was their thing. For me, I didn't, you know, I'm not going to put that on him because I don't, I don't know. So now after they f um, found out that I did what I did, E-Murder, like I said, um, you know, Lex Diamond, brother, they said he murdered, got, um, passed away. He was on the island two and three different times for homicides and he beat him. So this dude was a well-known gangster. You know what I'm saying? Um, he didn't like me, one, because I was Muslim. And two, they thought that I was crip hiding behind a kufi, which wasn't the case. Um, as I said, growing up, I grew up in a crip neighborhood, but I always wore red because I wanted to be different. Anything everybody was doing, I always chose to be different. That's why I ended up turning BMW, Brooklyn Most Wanted, because it was a neighborhood gang. I didn't really want to follow um, Cali. You understand what I'm saying? So, um, as the story goes, they started having meetings about me. So, El Dorado Red, Inf, and QB would go down to the law library to find out what's going on. Um, what's the word? You know, the 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 quote unquote big homies of the of the of the C ninety five was making you know was was making plans to get me up out of there. Now I'm officially a plate. I'm on the wall. The bloods want my head. So they're like, yo, listen, the head rap gotta get out of there. So they kept having meetings back and forth, but um KB now, as I said, he was an official dude. Now, he, was, he wasn't jacking it. So he was really giving me a pass, protecting me. So the Bloods ended up getting tired of it when they were sending out the missile to get me out of there and KB was stopping the whole thing. So KB was, wasn't really going to the meetings. As I said, KB was well-respected, not in status. He wasn't no OG, but in manhood. He was official. So as he... Um, the last draw came, if QB, El Dorado Red went to the law library, not KB. Remember, QB and KB is two different people, King Blood and we got Quiet Blood. So King Blood didn't really go to the law library like that for those meetings. So when QB, um, if and El Dorado Red went to the law library this last time, they rode a kite and, you know, Whatever have you, and the kite was saying, you know, have KB because I, I believe E Murder couldn't make it to the law library, so he rode a kite, sent it with some other people, and El Dorado Red and them met up and they got the kite. So the kite was saying, have KB, King Blood, the one that was protecting me, shoot me, cut me. And after he cuts me, then El Dorado Red, Inf, and QB. It's supposed to shoot him, cut him. You understand what I'm saying? So, 
El Dorado Red being loyal to KB because he was digging him and also they was really feeling feeling my whole style too. You know what I mean? They was really jacking me. If even QB after we did what we did, me and Greg to him, me and him really had a like a bond. So when they got back to the house, they gave KB the letter. So KB was furious. So now KB like, all right, man, this how we gonna have to do this. So KB kind of, he let them go on me. It was like he had to in, in a sense. And I'm not sticking up for him, but he, he kind of like had to. It was either him or me, but he knew it wasn't going to get bad. But he didn't, he made sure dudes ain't cut me. So check it out. At this time, I stayed with the ice pick in my, um, in my thermal, in that like thermal pocket. I had a nice copper ice pick. It was, it was deep. I used to go to the gym and we used to like get a dude to boost us and get it out the ceiling. You know, I used to have multiple of those. So everybody knew in the house like that I was banging with. They knew I stayed strapped. So um, KB like, yo, Cash. You know, they used to call me Cash Money as I told y'all. They like, yo, Cash, you got to get it on with QB. They said, once you get it on one-on-one -on -one with QB, it's over. But it, that wasn't the case. So boom. Lo and behold, I'm like, yo, all right, cool. Me and QB going to get it on. QB didn't really want to fight me. I didn't really want to fight QB. We was cool. So we went in the cell. So now there was this next blood dude real quiet. He was there for like a homicide in VA. He had got 18 years for homicide in VA, but then they extradited him to, to, to fight like another body or two over here. So he, you know, he was on one. He ain't have no, no, nothing to lose. So he just in the cut waiting. Don't really know me, but just don't like me. You understand what I'm saying? So I go in the cell with Kate QB. We rumbling, we rumbling. QB, my head bust open. Boom. I, I, I don't know how he, we was, he swung me. Boom. I slammed my head into something. The wall was somewhere, but it bust my head open. So I'm leaking. So as I'm leaking, I see El Dorado Red come in the cell and QB kind of like step to the side. So now El Dorado Red swings on me, boom, like, and I kind of like weave it, but I fall on the bed. So El Dorado's going on me, boom. But he could have did me dirty, but like I said, they was, they, they really didn't want to do it. So he got me, but he didn't get me. You know what I'm saying? If, if was just at the door now at this time. So after El Dorado Red did what he did, he threw like maybe six to a dozen punches i'm on a bed so i get up so as i'm getting up the blood dude i forgot his name he come in and he had size on me um he wasn't really cock diesel but as i said i was like 130 pounds soaking wet at that he came in he grabbed me you know what i'm saying and when he grabbed me he grabbed me by my wrist on on both wrists so we face to face he's like yo where the ham at so I'm like, the hammer, I was like, yo, I ain't got no hammer. You know, he headbutt me, boom, where the hammer at? I'm like, yo, bro, I ain't got no hammer. Whole time I'm strapped. But the only reason I never backed out on QB, because I'm thinking we just going to shoot the fear one. But lesson learned, know that if the bloods tell you, yo, this is going to be a fear one, for the most part, it's not. With homicide, I was surprised it was. So after, after some time, I'm like, yo, I got you, bro. I got the hammer right here. Let me dig it out. So he's holding my hand, we're standing up. So now my back is to the bed and at the end of the bed, there's a locker that's a little bit higher. So I'm like, yo, let me dig it out. So I'm going in my pants to dig out the, um, the joint, but he's still holding my hand. You know, head butting me, doing all kind of nut stuff. So I'm like, yo, boy, let me, let me dig it out. He like, yo, I said, I got you, I got you, mind you, to show you how much they wasn't really jacking it. They could have came in there and really got it up off me. But they was letting dude do him. You know what I mean? They didn't want to help. So when I got in my pants, I got hold of the banger. So now I'm like, yo, listen, bro, I got you. Let me pull out. Let me pull it out. I'm going to give it to you. But I was really trying to give it to him. So now as I'm standing up, I try to break loose. But... He was, he was stronger than me. So I jumps up on the bed. It's out now. 
And when I jump up on the bed, I walk to the side and stand up on a locker. So now he's holding me like this, but he's looking up. So I'm over him now. So, you know, I, I, Allah gave me the strength. I was lifting up and I was because I was on top of him now up high. His hands is up. And, you know, because I'm using my legs now, I'm standing up. So I'm a little down on him. Now I'm trying to I'm trying to stab him in the eye. So he's holding and he scream out, yo, he trying to stab me in the face. Then you see QB. He come in there with a scrub brush. Um, Inf come in there. El Dorado Red. So now QB about to smash me with the with the with the scrub brush. I'm already leaking. Then KB pops up. You know, KB kind of he knew what was going on. You understand what I'm saying? But he was in a tight squeeze. Because that's how it is. He came in. That's the only thing that really saved me. When he came in, he was like, yo, he got dudes out the way and uh, he's holding my hand. I'm trying to come down. He like, yo, cash. He grabbed my hand. You know, he like, let the, let, let the hammer go. I'm like, Nizza, Negatron. I'm not doing nothing. Because if I let that thing go, that's it for me. This dude going, going, he like, yo, cash, trust me. Let the hammer go. So now... We in this line, like I said, the locker, see, I'm standing on the locker. The bed is here. The door is right here. The toilet and all of that is over there. I let that thing go. When I let it go, the dude let me go. Q KB had the hammer. And I phew, went right out the cell. Whoop! It was like two cells down. Open. I went into that cell. Dude, like, oh, yo, came brought me a towel. My drink leaking. So now I'm looking outside the cell. I hear the dude like, yo, let me get that hammer, KB. I'm I'm a I'm a bustle. So KB like, nah, this my hammer. He like, what? Someone's trying to stab me. You ain't gonna man, give me that hammer. So KB said, dog, this my hammer. You wanna shoot the 31 for it? And son was like, mind you, they was probably the same size. Son might have a little more size than KB. But KB, he was slinky, but he was strong, you know. Salute to KB, man. And he did what he did. And, uh, you know, because I could have, I was done. I, I basically was disarmed in a, in, a, in a crib full of bloods. So it's just so many different situations in which I say, yo, you see dudes go to jail, get done dirty, stabbed up, raped, all kind of stuff. And you're like, how that happened to him? Son. The, the biggest dudes, the smallest ones, the gangsters, you never know, man. It's just fortune and what Allah Tabarak Ta'ala has written for you. So in so many different instances, I could have been one of those dudes to get stomped out, ribs broke, punctured lung, anything. But I survived it out minus these little marks and stuff on my face. So now dude backs down. He like, yo, he ain't want nothing. So boom. So KB like, I right, then. So you know what I had to do? I had to get up out the crib. Once again, all right, quote unquote, oh, you checked in. PC, they, KB like, yo, we getting you out of here. You got to roll, yo, cash. I got this. I'm going to deal with them dudes, Fab, E murder, and all of them. You know what I'm saying? So I got up out of there. They brought me to the west side, which was a house was mad crips in there. And what I noticed about gangs, um, underdogs, people who are the majority, the oppressed and the oppressors is that when the Spanish was oppressing all the blacks and not letting them get off the, get on the phone and cutting people and doing them dirty, they formulated the bloods. But then when the bloods became deep, right? Brotherly love overrides oppression and destruction, right? B-L-O-O-D. That's what y'all stand for. But as soon as y'all became the majority, what did y'all start to do? Y'all started to, to, to oppress. So the oppressors, the oppressed became the oppressors. And everything, whether it's, 
the you know the Muslims without the right aqida and character and they're not following the deen correct. Once they become the majority in a place, they start oppressing people. You're not following the Quran and the Sunnah. So these people, once they don't have that correct understanding and fear of God, man, I don't care if you black, white, Spanish. Once you become the majority and you don't have have the right understanding, you're gonna oppress the people. So basically, how this ended was I was in that in in that building um on the west side for a minute. I used to always bring the hammer with me to on um, the visiting floor and I ended up seeing that dude that had the 18 in and I had the knife on me. I didn't really, you know, the only thing was I had to, because the joint didn't have a handle, it was just like a lot going on, but I seen him on a visit and he was with a dude named Meathead and they both was blood, but they was plotting. You know what I mean? They outnumbered me in there on the visiting floor, but they didn't make a move. You, see, you understand what I'm saying? And I was ready, you know, so, um, yeah, y'all know about classic, blastic, whatever they want to call him. This was my bro from this town. So when he got to the building, we met up in the same house on 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 the west side or whatever the side that was the mains. And he like, yo, what? So he seen Obanga. He seen a couple of these blood dudes, all of them high ups, and he's like, yo, y'all bugging. That's my buzzing, or you know, you know how they that they talk. They slash out the C's and, and the B's. He's like, yo, if he would have caught one on the street, X Y Z, Kether what Kether. So he kind of came to the building and got me off the wall. I was a plate for a while in the building, you know, dipping and dodging, and basically that's how that situation ended. I ended up in six upper. On the dark side, ended up being over there with Disco, um, um, Pretty Black, a couple of the um, Big Bloods. And it was cool. I was back and forth to the box for hammers, different other things. And I'll tell y'all the story with me and Classic and how I ended up going to the box um, from C95. But that's how I survived that one, guys, man. So stay tuned. Stay rip. Six pack. Big back. Translation is a lump of flesh, a piece of meat. And when that lump of flesh